Redditors who caught your significant other red-handed while they were in the act of physically cheating. What was their excuse? How did it go down? Few years back I lived with a buddy in a large apartment and we always had parties. I was flying back from Florida and wound up getting home when the party was winding down. Everyone was under blankets on the living room floor. Saw my buddy with what was obviously a figure halfway down his sleeping bag doing something to him. He gave me a wide-eyed look and I cracked a smile at him until my girlfriend of 2 years head popped out from the sleeping bag. I was in shock for a few seconds. And Tyler went to talk. I cut him off and said you can keep her. Drove across town to my mom's that night. Dunn cried like a B2. Freaking Tyler. I saw my, then, girlfriend on the street with some guy. They were physically comfortable, holding hands, but touching, etc. After a while I decided to confront her. She tells me he's only her cousin. Turns out he was actually her cousin. We broke up, but she said we can still be cousins. Backstory. I had been with my girlfriend for 7 years and we planned on getting married. I got a job in a city about 2 HRS away from her, though. But she'd moved down with me after a month because she had wanted to finish up a big project at work. Or so she said. I planned on going up there to stay with her for a weekend and just romance her up completely in prep for the next weekend when I was going to propose. On Thursday I decided to just surprise her by going up there a day early. Because things were slow at work and I was too excited to see her. And so I left work, bought flowers and dressed up, and got in the car and was off. Long story short, when I got there I found her hooking up with my best friend. They noticed me right away, and I freaked out and left. Two days later she called and asked me to talk things out. So I met her at a restaurant. Left the restaurant confused, regretting the past 7 years, angry and single. He resorted to drinking, and, well, crap. Found them on the floor of her office. Physically picked him up and threw him off of her. Asked her if she wanted a divorce she said yes. And that she loved me but was not in love with me. Sat there in disbelief for 15 minutes before I went home. Packed up the kids and went to a hotel. An alternative ending. Change the locks and stay in the house with the kids. About 4 years ago a mutual friend of ours, mine and my fiance, came to stay for a while because he fell on hard times out of state. I met him through her when we were teens but never knew the story behind them. Well I was working a crappy mick job to support myself, my 1 year old, and both of them at he time and worked close to 50 hours a week, had no car, walked rain or shine 3 miles a day to work. One night I got off early cause we were slow and headed home. I tried to call but no one answered. I walk in and right there on my brand new couch was her and our mooch of a friend. I got so enraged I just started kicking the crap out of him. He was a typical do nothing out of shape loser. My neighbor woke up and came over from hearing us and tackled me. It was 2am. He was trying to save me from killing him. After the cops came and cooler heads prevailed I found out that they dated before we met and they felt it was true love so they couldn't help themselves. I got an assault charge and a night in jail. The next day they were gone. They moved to Oregon with his mom and left my daughter at my uncle's house. Haven't seen them since and my daughter who is 5 now enjoys her life with me and my now wife of 3 years. Who has been very faithful. Last I heard they were living off the state and bouncing between housing. I am now gainfully employed and happy with life. The moral of the story is always know who you are with. TL. DR. I got McFuck with the side of jail. I'll have an unhappy meal. Please. Married to my wife 6 months. I work a lot. Own a small business. So I'm gone a lot. But I came home from the office part of my day to grab something I needed for a job I was headed to. Heard noise in the bedroom. Walked in and there she was. Riding another guy. They both looked at me. I looked at them. I grabbed what I needed and left quickly. Telling her as I turned around that she better be gone when I got back. I called a friend of mine who waited about 2 hours and then went to my place. She had left, taking essentials with her. The following weekend he stood in for me while she removed the rest of her stuff. One mistake I made is that I didn't cancel the credit cards of mine that she had cards of also. She went out that evening with that guy and ran them all up, about 5k or so. They were not major limit cards. I had only had them to help my credit score earlier and because I was making good money now. Had been on a cash only basis for a long while. 
Which is probably why I forgot. That was basically the end of the finding out. Hiring an attorney for the divorce, who then hired a pie when she replied to my filing with a request for 2k in alimony a month revealed that she had been cheating through the entire marriage and prior. Two guys she had been with but dumped agreed to sign affidavits with the attorney. The pie took a crap load of pictures as well. She didn't get a 2k a month once the judge saw all this at the final hearing to finalize the divorce. After we had parted ways but were not divorced yet. This was 6 plus years ago took 6 months and a day in CA then from start to finish. It's now something like 6 weeks. She went to a club and gang binged about 10 guys in a back room. After the divorce was final I haven't seen her again. But I know she is in AZ because she's tried to get credit in my name there 3 times. I've told this story many times, but didn't elaborate on the actual catching. So there you go. The attorney all told cost about 12 grand. Or 6 months of alimony. The attorney told me I'd probably have to pay her about 5 years monthly. So I saved quite a bit on that. For sure. It's possible it could have gone longer than that. Had the judge ruled for it basically his call. It disgusts me that the court awarded her anything. Came home early from my second job to spend time with her and our infant son. I noticed an extra pair of shoes in the entryway so I creeped in and up the stairs. I hit a creaky one and I hear them both jump up and she meets me at the door zipping up a sweater. Her pants still unbuttoned. He is still putting his pants on as I look into the room and start yelling. She pushed at me to go downstairs so we could argue somewhere other than outside our sleeping son's room and once we are in the living room I started yelling harder than I ever had before. I don't remember what I said, I kinda blanked it. But I'm sure I referenced how we were engaged and he was my best man and them trying to calm me down. I stormed out of the house and walked up the street to where his wife, her maid of honor, was working and calmly asked her to come outside to talk. I told her what happened and left her to deal with him as she saw fit. I then called up a buddy of mine and told him to meet me at the bar so I could get drunk but not alone. Caught my boyfriend and my best friend freaking in my living room. They didn't see me. Went to my boyfriend's and my room. Locked the door packed all up his crap. Cannot sleep. Come 7am in the morning he finally decides it's a great idea to come to our room. Knocks. I open the door I see him at the door and her in the living room at the end of the hallway. I say your crap is in the hallway. Leave and bring you W with you. Yep and that is how a 3 year relationship ended. I had caught him sexting other girls, and there were other things before and let those slide when I shouldn't have. This was the last straw I suppose. I once missed out on a party at my friend's house that my girlfriend was was at. We had the same friends. Dang homework. Anyway, I just had the feeling things were going on since she wouldn't text back or answer her phone. Then my phone goes off and it's my buddy. Turns out it's a video of my ex in the bedroom with some guy. My buddy cracked the door and got like a full 15 seconds of it without her knowing her excuse was that it wasn't her. She cried when I sent her the video of herself. I did. We'd been together for over 2 years and had been out drinking quite heavily. Sat in a friend's bar after hours we realize we haven't seen her or another friend in a while. We track them down in the disabled toilets. Her excuse was that she was drunk and doesn't actually remember doing anything. We broke up soon afterwards. I didn't actually feel that hurt. I think the relationship was over before it happened anyway. And it wasn't the nicest thing to see but it made it easier for me to fancy with her. TL. DR. Caught her in the toilet in a bar. That disabled guy must have had some smooth moves. I'll try to keep it short. They were sleeping as I got home in the morning after working all night. I grabbed a guitar, sat on the edge of the bed, and played a really bad country song that I made up on the spot. She was yelling at me. I'm just singing at the end of the bed really badly and loudly. He had the cover over his head probably wondering if I was going to hit him over the head with the guitar. <laughs> was going out with girlfriends after work. Got off early and ran home to change. I thought it was odd my husband was asleep so early. Crept in the bedroom with the light off to change. Sat on the bed and he started saying I need to go wait in the living room. I was not catching on at all. He had to explain he had someone one in the bed with him. I left. Got very drunk. Then terribly sad. Went home second night because we'd been together since I was 15 and I was confused. I walk in day 2 and hear the bed spring squeaking. The first night I was calm and kind of laughed about how ridiculous it was. 
Day 2. Not so much. That chick stayed in my bed for 3 hours while my husband and I argued and I broke everything I could get my hands on. I sent her a Christmas card at her parents house for several years that said, Ho, ho, ho. Now I know she did me a favor. Any woman who can take my man can have him. This happened to my sister-in-law. My brother-in-law, wife's brother, loses his job just after they have a kid. He says it's because of layoffs. I think he just freaked up, but whatever. For the next year he looks for a job but can't find anything. Also bulls. We live in oil country. So he decides to go back to school. Q second kid. She's working full time and taking care of the kids because he's not good at it. She cuts maternity leave short because they're broke. In the span of 3 years they amass 80k in debt because of his schooling. But he promises they'll pay it all back afterwards. He's in a nursing program. So he's probably right. 2 months after he graduates. He gets caught cheating with a girl he's been seeing for the last 6 months. He let her find out. We're all pretty sure. So. They split up just as he gets a job making 120k per year. He sticks her with half the debt from when he went to school. And. As if this needed a freaking cherry on top, he threatens to sue her for half custody of the kids because he can't afford to pay full child support. That guy needs an old fashioned butt kicking in the middle of nowhere after a long drive in a blindfold. Got into a fight with my at the time gf on my way to work, had a mutual friend sleeping on the couch, came back about an hour later, work was 3 minutes away, with traffic. And found my ex in a teddy. Not the sweatpants and tank top I had left her in. Noticed some clothes. Not mine. On my side of the bed. I ask if I am interrupting something. She tells me I should leave. The toilet flushes. The bathroom door opens. I turn to see who is brave enough to plant their clothes on my side of my bed. Lo and behold the mother on the couch was giving me the deer in the headlight oh crap look. In. My. Towel. She begins to panic and tell me to leave as he tucks tail back into the bathroom and locks the door. Still. In. My. Towel. The apparent sound of the boiling of my blood kept him from opening the bathroom door and her from opening the bedroom door. I take a deep breath. Shout out this be better only have my crap in it when I get back. But take the towel. And went back to work. Turned off my phone. Bought a new towel and bedsit. Burned the old sheets. And lived happily ever after with my new towel. Tell us more about the towel. Went to a party with my girlfriend. She was doing her own thing with her friends and I was just drinking with mine having a good time. Later in the night I went looking for her and couldn't find her. Oh well. It was a bigger house. Went into one of the bathrooms and saw her blowing some random dude in the shower. My first reaction was to punch him but instead. I just laughed and walked out. She ran after me and tried to apologize. I just ignored her out the door and my sober buddy drove me home. We were her ride. But frick it at that point. I haven't said a word to her since. Almost two years ago. This is how it should be done. My boyfriend and I were hanging out at our apartment and some girl came over. He'd met her on Craigslist looking for a friend. A bit weird. But okay. Talked to her a bit. Then went to bed. I thought I heard her leave not long after that. At 4.20am, the cats came in bitching about something and woke me up. I figured, what the heck, I'm kinda thirsty. So I got up and went to the kitchen to get some water. They were in the front room kissing. In disbelief and shock, we'd been together nearly 5 years I made a racket getting a drink of water. They quickly separated and pretended they'd been talking. I went back to the bedroom, and waited a few minutes. Should I confront him? How? A few minutes passed, and she didn't leave. So I confronted him. It's 4 in the morning, I said. Oh, she doesn't have a car and the buses aren't running. So you can drive her home then. I'm too drunk to drive. See? Are my eyes shut? Everything is fuzzy. I just can't tell. And he sat there, looking at me with his eyes wide open. It sure didn't look fuzzy to me when I saw you kissing her, I said. I wanted to scream at him, but his kid from an ex was visiting and was sleeping on the couch. She'll go home when the buses run again he said. I went to the bedroom and cried for a bit. Then I called my mother and told her I was moving back home. After a while he came back in and asked if he could sleep in the bed. Since it was either that or out front with the W I said yes. I moved my stuff into my car while he was sleeping. When he woke up, he asked if I was leaving. 
take her home and we'll talk about it, I said, if you're leaving why haven't you packed up your stuff, I have, but I can't get to the xbox when she's sleeping in front of it, so I'll move her to the bed, excuse Emmy, you're leaving, so why should she, and so then I had to spend several hours in her company being civil because his kid woke up, and move out while she was there, what was worse was the whole time I was moving out he was so paranoid that I would take something that was his, are those my pills no, they're mine, hold on, what game is that it's the game I paid for, but you bought it for me I did not, I bought it and you started playing it, ugh, this was only a month or so ago, I'm still in the process of getting my name off the lease, I know this will never get read, but it feels good to vent, tl, dr, Boyfriend cheats on me with a Craigslist W while I sleep in another room. I have to move out with her there because he has utterly no respect for me even after 5 years. I got married far too young and for all the wrong reasons. Tip for all men. Jack off before making any important decisions. We immediately went into a troubled marriage phase. I was working long hours to make up for the loss of what little income she was making when she quit her job to play online games all day. What little time we spent together we spent fighting or ignoring each other. A couple of months later, things are better. Not good, but better. I decide to knock off work early to take her out on a date. I open the door and hear the unmistakable sound of my wife being fricked. I walk into the bedroom and see some dude fricking my wife and going at it good. So I just lean on the door and watch for a minute. Then finally I clear my throat and panic ensues. He grabs his clothes off the floor and bolts out the window and runs bare added to the car parked in my neighbor's driveway. My now ex-wife starts crying and begging and pleasing. I just say I'm going to my best friend's house for a few days. Be gone when I get back. She decided she doesn't want to have an amicable, uncontested divorce. What she doesn't know is the dude that fricked her called me like two weeks later. Wanting to meet and talk. He told me she had been flirting with a bunch of dudes in chat rooms and was pretending she was single, which is why he was there. I asked him if he'd testify to that under oath, and he said he would. When she saw him in court, her face went white and she immediately started talking to her lawyer. After the guy testified, the judge gave her a you're such a w look and awarded me an annulment. Haven't spoken to her since. Not going to say he was a good guy, but if the dude your wife cheated with thought she was single and lit a fire under her butt in court, he at least has a conscience. I was with my ex for 4 years. Now, I can't really say I'm surprised. Bro tip, if she'll cheat with you, she'll cheat on you. Woke up one night to the sound of her getting off in the living room. Decided to get up and see if she wanted help. Walk out and she's got a guy under her. One of our friends. I wasn't even mad. Disappointed, I didn't really feel any strong emotion as a response. Or maybe I was shocked into numbness. I just turned. Walked back into the bedroom, grabbed a small box and tossed in some basics from the bathroom, toothbrush, etc. She didn't even notice. Grabbed my base, walked into the living room and said hope he's got your rent covered, and walked out. It bothered me a lot for a couple years. Now I look at that moment as liberation though. If she cheated on her man to be with you, don't trust her. Real talk. I once found out my ex-boyfriend had had sex with my best friend on New Year Eve, in the same bed as me while I was asleep, his justification, thought we were having a threesome. I was 16 years old and had been with my boyfriend for 6 months, he was my world, I was typically 16, madly in love and of course I thought we would be high school sweethearts forever and ever, he was 17 about to turn 18. So we go to a girl's 16th birthday party and we're all having a good time. I've never been a drinker, so I'm hanging out looking after my drunk girlfriends. I can't find my dude, so I go with my best friend looking for him. Open the door of the bedroom of the girl whose party it was, to find them freaking. Of course, they didn't notice us. Walk into another room with my best friend and discuss this issue. I decided to go for the metaphorical jugular. I went and found her dad. He burst in the door, saw exactly what I did and lost his crap. My then ex-boyfriend got a hit to the head and was literally thrown out in his underwear. The party was over after that. Everyone had to leave. She wasn't allowed to see him anymore and wasn't allowed to go to parties for months afterwards. 
I dumped him the next day, he'd taken off after being thrown out, and of course, he blamed me for the trouble he was in because I told her dad, who got hold of his conservative Christian mother, who grounded him too. I was on cloud 9 knowing I'd cause the both of them so much misery. Seen my mom giving a neighbor a BJ, my dad threatened him. The next week he sold his house and moved cities. Parents are still together but don't sleep in the same bed. That's some messed up crap for you to have to live with. Was dating a guy for almost a year and just found out I was pregnant. We had planned to have lunch together at his house but morning sickness had kicked in so I told him I would have to wait till dinner time. He sounded super disappointed so an hour later I felt well enough to surprise him with a sub for lunch. When I got to his house I found the door wide open so I walked in. As I opened his bedroom door I found him in bed with two girls. PFI tossed the sub at him, called him some choice words and ran out the door. He follows me and tries to get me to calm down. I tell him I'm done and want to leave but he begs me to hear him out claiming he has a good reason for what he was doing. He then tells me the biggest crock of poo I have ever heard in my life. He tells me that he dated this girl before me for a short time. Being a Middle Eastern girl she was very set on the no sex rule before marriage for fear of what her family would do to her. However, one night they ended up sleeping together anyway and he broke her cherry. Pan forward to the present. She calls him in a panic saying her life was in danger. She tells him she was going on a trip overseas soon to see family and for fear of being stoned to death she begged him to meet her parents and claim they had married secretly to save her. His next words were the craziest part of my story. Comma so if I don't keep sleeping with her, they will stone her to death. The other girl was just her sister making sure it was legit. Do you get it now? I am saving this woman's life. I just turned around and walked away. Almost 8 years later and I still can tell this story without giving him some props for creativity. Kills me to do so but even I could not have told that line of crap as straight faced as he did. Quick, NASA just called and said we need to have sex in order to save the world from a killer asteroid. Not red handed, but I was working one night while my roommate was throwing a party. A buddy picked me up after my shift and told me we needed to talk. Takes me to the pool hall. Pulls off buying us a couple of beers even though we were underage. And tells me my girlfriend was cheating on me at the party. In my bed. When I get there the part is over. Everyone is gone. And she's drunk in my bed. I wake her up and tell her I already know what happened. And she's freaking out. I tell her to calm down. That I'm not going to blow up on her. But we need to talk. We end up having an hour long conversation about her drinking. Her life choices. Her promiscuity before we were a couple. She says that this is rock bottom for her. And she's ready to sober up and lead a grown up life. I commended her for the first honest assessment of herself I've ever heard her speak and tell her I can't wait to see her get back to being the kickest girl she was when we were in high school together. And then she leans in for a kiss. I back up. And right into her open mouth say whoa. That doesn't mean we're not over after this though. She freaks. And I tell her to sleep it off on the couch because I didn't want her driving home like this. Give her keys to my roommate. And take off for the night. It's 12 years later now. I'm married to the girl of my dreams with two kids and a big house with a pool. So despite my heartbreak it all worked out for me. I hear she's got several kids herself. But is doing alright with husband number two. Still felt great when, last year, a mutual friend told me that she still talks about that night being her wake up call, and that losing me was the worst mistake she ever made. You sound like a real cool dude. Props to you for handling that with pure class. Friend of mine got home from work early one day. He long suspected something was going on. When his wife wouldn't let him in his own house he figured that was all the evidence he needed. He proceeded to kick down the front door, walked into the kitchen, picked up the blender and walked out without saying a word. I found my ex-boyfriend in the same bed with my ex-best friend. I was supposed to be at work. But they said they needed to cut hours and let me go home early, wanting to surprise my boyfriend. I stopped at his house with some tacos and beer. I noticed my best friend's car in the parking lot, but I didn't really think much of it because they were friends and we all hung out from time to time. He had given me a key to his house a week earlier, with the instructions to just stop by and let myself in, so that's exactly what I did. Found them on his bed in the living room yeah. He was weird, kept his bed in the living room, naked, 
sweaty and clearly just finished sexy times. I freaking yell. He says they had gotten drunk the night before and rather than drive home, she crashed there. Would have been cool, if it weren't for the fact both were butt butt naked. I looked at her, told her we had been friends since 7th grade, and that I deserved the truth. She said they fricked and had been fricking for several months at that point. I threw the tacos and beer at my ex-boyfriend, grabbed a garbage bag and packed up whatever crap I had left at his house before. I hadn't spoken to him since then. I decided to forgive my friend. We had been best friends for far too long, but then I found out she was freaking with my next boyfriend, and I wrote her off as a s horror bag. She still tries to talk to me occasionally, but I tell her to frick off every time. Tacos and beer, you will do fine catching yourself a better man. Just throwing this out there, there is a new and growing subreddit for people who are recovering from, or struggling through, infidelity in marriage or a similarly serious relationship. It's a particular kind of pain that most people can't relate to, so we help each other out. If you're one of the people posting a story here, please join us at our surviving infidelity. You are a good person. Crap this just happened to me not even 2 hours ago. So it was her birthday tonight and she was having a get together with a couple of friends. When I get there she is messing around with this guy like nothing. Just freaking touching, holding, and kissing each other like they are a couple. I can tell she is drunk out of her mind, but that is and never will be a valid excuse for cheating. We had only been dating for a couple of weeks, but god dang does it still sting. I had even gotten her a cool little necklace she had seen at a store we used to frequent. I just freaking left I don't even know if she saw me or not, but I could give two fricks. A person like that is not worth wasting my energy on getting mad for or my time on. So yeah I have not had a good night, but this thread has really helped me vent. Even if only one person reads it, thank you. Hey, man you'll get through it. You are right she is not worth it. Take that necklace back and get something awesome for yourself. He told me they weren't kissing. She was just licking coke off his face. As a non-drug user this excuse was not any more reassuring. Also, this was on my birthday. They were definitely making out. By the way. Family friend suspected her husband of cheating. Husband is staying at a hotel and she got the room number from downstairs and knocked on his door. Which he refused to open. She ran downstairs frantically yelling for help because she believed her husband was having a heart attack and couldn't make it to the door. Security immediately rushes up and opens the door to display him in bed with a woman half his age. They're still married. That was actually a genius move on her part for them to get the door open. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.